Hey guys, T2 out here. Welcome to the Type Preparedness Channel. I'm out here with Chris today. We're going to be showing y'all some different fire starter techniques, some different tender techniques, just different ways to get a fire going in a wet environment. Yeah, so it's uh, been raining pretty hard here in upstate South Carolina the past month. Yeah. Maybe. So everything's pretty much going to be still wet because we just had flooding last week. We're going to see if we can get this to work. So like you said, we had some flooding, it skipped a day, then we had snow, then it skipped a day and it's rained. I know in my get home bags, I talk about my, my fuel canister stove. Just because I have that fuel canister, I don't need to build a fire, but in an environment like this, it being 35 degrees, you would want to build a fire. You would want to stay warm. Exposure to the elements, being out here, being cold, will kill you faster than dehydration, will kill you faster than you know, not having something to eat, the, the coldness is gonna kill you a whole lot faster than anything else will. So we're gonna show you some store-bought, some free tenders that you can use to get a fire going. We're gonna get, set one up and get it going. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell to stay notified. All right, so first thing we'll try this thorough rod, old striker here. We'll give it a shot, see. We got some lint, we got this stuff wet fire comes in these little pouches you open it up and you crumble that stuff up you got some stormproof matches go closer with that this one's got cotton and little tender tabs tender tabs in it i like that and all else fails we got the old road flare hopefully we won't have to get to this point all right so getting a fire started with the ferro rod is a little bit more challenging than using say a lighter which i have in my pocket but I don't know if I can get it started with this. I mean, getting it started with a lighter would be no problem. So with these, you just strike it and you get a good spark going. All right, so we're gonna try to get the dryer lint to work. This is easy to get. You know, time you pull out your dryer sheet, pull it off, take it a little bit and put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your bug out bag. This doesn't take up much space, weighs practically nothing. And there it goes, it's lit. It's lit. So that was just a little example. All right, next we're gonna try out the wet fire. So you open the little, you open the pack, you crush it up, put it where you want it to burn. Try to pile it up and it says, it's burning up to five minutes. So let's see if we can strike it. Oh, it's going. First strike, just like that. Nice. All right, next we're gonna try out these stormproof matches. I think we have two different variants here. You can see his comes with the, this one comes with a uh, waterproof little container. waterproof container. You can keep your little tender tabs in there. You got a cotton ball in the lid. And of course, it's just like using a match, because it is a match. Like any match box, you just strike it. And burn time up to 15 seconds. And it's a little small package, so that could stay in your, well, I'd recommend getting this. That could stay in your bug out bag right there. Doesn't take up much room, waterproof, in case you get dunked in the water. All right, next we have a little emergency flare. A little emergency flare from Orion. I don't know if you can see it. They used to sell these at Walmart in the camping section. So you just pop the cap off that, pull that off, and you strike it. I'm not going to. <laughs> Those are amazing. And hard to find now. So I'm gonna do with some of this wet stuff. You're just gonna take your knife, just gonna peel the bark off of it. You get it past the wet down to the dry stuff. Cause it's really just the outside layer of the stick, twig, limb, whatever you wanna use. That's gonna be wet. You ain't got to get it 100% clean because the fire is going to slowly dry it out. You just want to get enough to where it'll catch. All right, so we got some lint. We've already seen it happen once, so we're going to try it again. And it's, it's lit. 
We'll take some of the small stuff we've collected, try to get it on there. The hole wouldn't let it breathe. There it is. Smother it. Go sideways. Hmm? Go sideways. So fire is kind of like a baby, right? You want to feed it little stuff, make sure it's got oxygen. And that's going to keep it going. But eventually, once it catches good with this type of fire, it's going to burn its way down. It's going to take over. It's going to take longer for it to go out. And everything out here that we're finding is it's pretty wet. And you can't really peel the bark off the small stuff try but you're not gonna end up much all right let's let that burn in a minute let's see where it goes so typically this would be a this type of fire would be like a cleaner it'd be less smoke but as I said before all this stuff's wet so when you have wet wood, you'll have more smoke. As it gets warmer, it's gonna start slowly going down. <clears throat> That's why we stack it all. We got a good breeze coming through here right now, so it's, it's actually helping us. So with it burning the way it is now, we probably won't have to add anything for a few hours to it. <laughs> but uh, whew, it's nice. All right guys, we, uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. We enjoyed the fire. It was nice and warm. It's flipping cold out here. February. It sucks. Cold. So, you have to prepare for the worst. Like that. Two days ago, it was 65, 68 degrees. Yeah, close to 70. And it's 35 this freaking morning. So, about every six months, I'll, I'll swap my bag over. Winter time, I'll have warmer clothes. I'll have, you know, wool socks in there. I'll have multiple ways to start a fire just in case I need to stay warm. Summertime, not really worried about it. It's more just a hydration thing. And uh, if you ever make a fire out in the woods somewhere, make sure you put it up for your leave. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. No, uh, leave a comment your favorite way to uh, get a fire started and what you use. Bye. Well, y'all have a good one.